Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great weekend and a happy Easter. Today I'm bringing you three farmhouse DIYs, so let's go ahead and get started with our very first one. So I got this tray from the Dollar Tree and I am just gonna spray paint it black with my Rust-Oleum Matte Black Spray Paint. So now I'm taking these two terracotta pots that I got from the Dollar Tree as well, and I'm gonna give them two coats of my Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Plaster. So now I'm just going to take my Waverly Chalk Paint in Silver Lining and I am going to kind of give it a whitewash over the uh, plaster color. Okay, so now I'm just going to take these little succulents that I got from the Dollar Tree as well. I think these are just so pretty. I love the color. So, so pretty. So now I'm just taking this moss from, you guessed it, the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to add some of that on top of the foam. Here I'm just adding a little hot glue on the bottom where I kind of push that stem down in the hole just to kind of keep it in place. So here I'm taking the shadow box that I did in a previous DIY and I am going to give it a couple of coats of the silver lining chalk paint. And I'm not too worried about getting it on the paper backing because we're going to cover that up with some moss 
here in just a second. So here we're just going to start hot gluing the moss um, to the back. And um, if y'all have have been able to find these finger protectors, or if you do see them, you need to get them because they help so much. I just happened to be in my Dollar Tree um, about a month ago, and I come across them. Somebody had put them in a different spot, and it was the only package that I saw. And you know, Mama snatched those up real quick. And I really think it's time for me to invest in a new hot glue gun because I was on the struggle bus with this thing today. And here I'm just gluing and then I'm just shaking out the excess because I want to make sure I don't have a lot of it that's going to be falling out everywhere after I'm done with this. So I'm just kind of shaking it out and then I'll just like glue those pieces in different spots. And when you're um, gluing this stuff down, you want to make sure you just patting it down really, 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 really good so it just sticks in there and the glue. So here I'm taking one of these little wooden discs that come off the farmhouse bead um, thing from the Dollar General. Um, I picked up all the ones that I could find and I actually got these like on clearance. So they were like, I think 30 cents each. So I'm just gonna give it a couple of coats of the silver lining chalk paint as well. And once it's all good and dry, we're just going to hot glue it into the middle of our box. And now we're going to take some of our jute from the Dollar Tree and we're going to make a little bow and we're just going to glue it right on top where that hole is. And here you can see I decided to go down the strand a little bit where it was just a little bit thicker to make my bow.
Okay, so here I'm gonna use like a little sticker that I had um, in my stash. And I really didn't want to worry about using my silhouette just for one little E. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, the outline of the sticker and use it as a stencil. So even if you don't have a Cricut or a silhouette, you can always use like stickers or you can use the outside around the stickers to make like little stencils that you can paint in. And if my voice sounds a little different throughout this video, I just have like a huge coughing spell because I took a sip of my soda and it just totally went down the wrong way. So I'm still trying to recover from that. That is so not fun. So now that I got my little stencil from my sticker on my piece, I am going to take a Sharpie and I'm going to kind of outline it inside and then color it in. For our second DIY, I'm taking this galvanized bucket that I got from Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just going to take some acetone and I am going to wipe all the letters off of it. Okay, so on this one I did use my silhouette to cut me a stencil out on some vinyl um, and now I'm just going to dab um, my Waverly chalk paint in the ink color. So now I'm going to take my burnt umber paint and I'm going to make this look rusty and old and weathered and I am just going to go around all the edges on the top and the bottom, the handles, and then I'm going to also do it all over the sides.
And yeah, I know you can see my phone there. I am just catching up on my fellow YouTubers um, videos this week and I like to watch those while I am crafting myself. What do y'all like to do while y'all are crafting? Do y'all like to listen to music or watch videos or watch Netflix? Let me know down in the comments. And here, when I'm dabbing it on the sides, I'm just taking my finger and kind of rubbing it because I want it to kind of look like it's just aged in there. And for the last DIY, I'm going to take this crock that I had uh, for a long, long time that I keep my utensils in, and I am just going to give it a fresh new look. I am going to spray it with the chiffon cream chalked spray paint by Rust-Oleum. And I'm going for the enameled look, so I'm going to take my uh, Waverly chalk paint in the ink color, and I am just going to dab it around the top. Okay, so here I'm taking um, the ink color again and I am just going to dab it on top of the stencil that I created with my silhouette. And here I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom.
I really love how this is coming together. Um, I just like wanted to update my old crock um, until I can get my hands on the Ray Dunn uh, black one that says utensils on it. Um, I just, yeah, I'm, where I live, it's it's Ray Dunn is hard to find. Um, our little TJ Maxx doesn't really get a whole lot of um, different, you know, styles. And then when they do get them in, they're like usually picked over. So this will work until I do come across it. Now I do think I kind of went a little overboard with the um, spots. My daughter said, it looks like you're trying to make it cow print. But anyways, y'all let me know if y'all think it's too much or not. <laughs> I hope you all love these DIYs and thank you so much for stopping by. If you wouldn't mind, give me a big thumbs up, leave me a comment and let me know which one was your favorite and if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you're notified each and every time I upload a new video. I hope y'all have a fabulous week and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye now.